big honor for an American hero from New Hampshire. In July, Staff Sergeant Ryan Pitts received the nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Tonight, for the first time, he was thanked for his service in his home state. Our Gene Mackin was there for the emotional ceremony. And I'm here because nine of my brothers made the ultimate sacrifice. Former Staff Sergeant Ryan Pitts shares his Medal of Honor with the men who served at his side. At this ceremony in Concord, New Hampshire thanked a hero. Last July, he was awarded the Medal of Honor at the White House, becoming only the ninth living recipient of the nation's highest military honor since the War on Terror began. This reenactment video depicts the 2008 Battle of Wenat. While injured and under heavy fire, Staff Sergeant Pitts helped keep 200 Taliban fighters at bay, saving lives during the deadliest single firefight in the Afghanistan war. I think about what we did together. I think about the guys that we lost uh, and what they meant to me. And I have a wife now and a son and a daughter on the way, and it's because of the sacrifices that they made. Staff Sergeant Pitts had to retire from the Army because of his injuries, while he graciously accepts words of thanks. You faced danger head on, stood tall, and never gave up. Even the key to the city of Nashua, where he lived. He says he wears the Medal of Honor to honor his fallen brothers. No one gave more than they did, and it's their names and their deeds and their actions that everybody should know. Sergio Abad. Jonathan Ayers, Jason Bogar. He speaks their Jonathan names Bergstrom, first, a true Israel hero Garcia. at heart. Because this is ours. Belongs to every man that was there that day, and especially those that, that, that we couldn't bring home. In Concord, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.